since I came back, I felt like I am more rational about my decision and I can see what to do, what not to do. And whenever I make any policy or try to implement that policy, my leadership qualities help me to convince all the stakeholders to move towards the betterment of the people or the betterment of the country. My name is Dr. Bilal Iftikhar. I am a Fulbright alumnus. I did my PhD from Georgia Institute of Technology and currently serving as Deputy Director in Irrigation Department, Punjab. I started my earlier education from a small town in South Punjab, Khanewal, because my family lived there. So we often faced devastating effects of floods. So that is the reason I decided to do civil engineering. I did my master's in hydraulics and water source management from NERS. And then during my five years in the Georgia Tech, I not only accomplished myself educationally in many perspectives, but also socially. I got the chance to work in a different organization. I work as civil engineering mentors for the undergrad students in the Georgia Tech. With that, I also got the chance to work in the national lab, so where we have the highest computational facility. But I also learned that there are so many resources available that we can use here as well without any cost. So now in the same way I did the assessment for the 2022 flood in uh, only one week by using all the freely available data resources that is using the Google Earth. After my PhD I want to serve both in academia and in the field so accordingly I have uh, short term and long term goals. For the short term goals I am awareing the people about the climate change and the reservoir modeling how important this is in our system. I am involved actively in the development of uh, different uh, lectures uh, in the different universities to giving inputs what's going on in the other countries and for the long terms I want to develop a decision support system for Pakistan that can help to mitigate the floods and the droughts. The climate change is impacting Pakistan in many ways uh, like the seasonal flows has been changing, the glacier is melting and now we have to think in totality what kind of policies the other countries are implementing in their countries to move forward to avoid the effects of the climate change. So I really want to develop a decision support system that have a very easy user interface that any person have a less expertise or who's managing the reservoir can operate that.